This is an intriguing series summation. Basically, one times 100, add two times 99, add three times 98, add da, 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 98 times three, add 99 times two, add 100 times one. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to uh, solve this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to discuss a little bit more how it has a connection with sets, subsets, and combinatorics, because it's very interesting. Okay, so first of all, let's do the uh, question at hand. Um, and what we've got to do is we've got to sum it. Well, basically, the way we're going to do this is we need to find the rth term, and then once we've done that, we'll find the sum of the uh, terms from r equals 1 to n, and then what we'll do finally is we'll put n equals 100. So first of all, we just need to find uh, the rth term. Well, basically what we have here is we have 1 times n add, 2 times n minus 1 add, 3 times n minus 2 add, da 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 da, da add, n minus 2 times 3, add n minus 1 times 2, add n times 1. And that's our summation there. Basically, for the question in hand, it will be 100, but we can work out what the sum is for n. So, the rth term of this is going to be equal to r, which is, that's the first term, that's the second term, times n minus r minus 1. 1, because the second term is n minus 1, the third term is n minus 2, etc, etc, etc. And that equals uh, r times n minus r plus 1, which equals r n plus 1 minus r squared. So that is our rth term. Uh, so now what we can do is we can sum that. So what we need to do is we need to sum between r equals 1 and n of uh, r n plus 1 minus r squared. Now n plus 1 in the um, context of this summation is a constant so we can take it out of the summation so that equals n plus 1 times by the sum between r equals 1 and n of r minus the sum between r equals 1 and n of r squared. Now these two are both very well known, that's just the sum of the first n numbers and that one's the sum of the first n squares. So basically that equals, uh, and they're well known, I won't bother showing there how to prove those, but basically that is equal to n, n plus 1 over 2, that's the sum of the first n numbers, minus and the sum of the first n square numbers is n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over 6. Now what we need to do is just simplify all this, that gives us n n plus 1 over 6 times by 3 n plus 1 minus 2 n plus 1 which equals n n plus 1 over 6 times n plus 2 um, and therefore that is our answer for n terms so in order to do the question here which really is a little bit incidental to this video we just need to put n equals to 100 and so therefore the sum of 1 times 100 add 2 times 99 add da, 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 add 99 times 2 add 100 times 1 is equal to 100 times 101 times 102 over 6 that's just putting n equals 100 in there uh, which equals 171700 okay so we, we've answered the question on the thumbnail but that's not the interesting part uh, uh, of this what we can note with this sum here n n plus 1 n plus 2 is that we could also write that as n plus 2 factorial over 3 factorial n plus 2 minus 3 factorial basically that's uh, n minus 1 and that equals n plus 2c3, which, or to write another notation, some people seem to prefer this notation, n plus 2, 3. So it is intriguing to think, hang on a sec, the sum of uh, this here is exactly the same as n plus 2c3. And the question is, why? So we can actually proceed in a different way and we can prove this in another way, a little bit more uh, uh, of a sort of um, a way that we might be able to um, imagine. So imagine we have a set of n plus 2 elements, e1, e2, e3, e4, da, 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 e n plus 1, e n plus 2. So what we're going to do is we are going to basically prove the previous formula in another way. And what we're going to do is we are going to look at the number of three element subsets of these n plus 2 element. Uh, and clearly the number of three element subsets is well known, basically is 
n plus 2 c3 i.e we we pick that we have n plus 2 ways of picking the first one n plus 1 ways of picking the second one and n ways of, of picking the third one uh, and then we have to divide by 3 factorial because order is not important uh, in the subsets so basically we know that the number of three element subsets of this is n plus 2 c3 so what we want to do is we want to find a different way of looking at this to also show that the number of three element subsets is equal to uh, this. So let's go, let's have a think about that. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do now is let's have a look at another way of doing this where let's imagine that the order does matter. Well, if the order did matter in the subsets, well, there would be n plus two, n plus one times n subsets where order did matter but then if we only took the subsets which were in uh sorry not alphabetical order if they were in element order if you like so i.e the elements of the subset are in the same order that they are in the set then we would have to divide by six anyway which would give us exactly the same answer that we got before so just just to illustrate that very quickly let's imagine that we picked elements e4 e6 and i don't know e10 well we could have e4 e6 e10 e4 e10 e6 e6 e4 e10 e6 e10 e4 uh, e10 e4 e6 and e10 e6 e4 that is if order does matter in the subsets but then if we say okay but we're only going to take the ones which are in the same order as the original set then we basically only pick one out of every six and that is why we divide by six and it's basically just another way of looking the reason why i mention that is because this third way that we're going to look basically involves that so what we're going to do is we are now going to have our uh e1 e2 e3 da, 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 en en plus one and en plus two and again we're going to look we know that the number of three element subsets where order doesn't matter is n plus two c three and we're going to do it another way now okay what we're going to do is we're going to look at the middle element of the three uh, element subsets so now of course the middle element could be e2 it could be e3 blah blah, blah. it could be anything up to en plus one let's imagine that the uh, middle element so if the middle element of the three element subset is equal to e2 then basically we have one choice for the element before it and we have n choices for the element after it. So there are one times n subsets where order doesn't matter, um, where E2 is the middle element. Okay, what about if the middle element is E3? Well, that's this one here. Well, then we would have two uh, choices of the element before it and we would have n minus one choices of the one after it so there are two times n minus one subsets where e3 is the middle element and we can keep going here e4 da, 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 e n e n plus one e well, en plus 2 can't be the middle element, can it? Because obviously there wouldn't be an element after it. So basically, uh, e4, e4. So in e4, there would be three elements before e4, uh, and there would be n minus 2 elements after. So there would be three times n minus 2 possible subsets where e4 is the middle element. And we can carry on here. So en basically would have uh, n minus 2 elements before it that we could choose from and only two elements after, en plus one and en plus two, so there'd be that many subsets. And finally, en, en plus one, there would be uh, n minus one, uh, sorry, en, en would be n minus one, my apologies, n minus one times two, and en plus one, well, we would have n choices of the element before it, and we would only have one choice of the element after. So they are all the possible subsets. And we know that the possible subsets is equal to n plus 2 c3, because we, I mean, that, that's the standard way of, um, of counting. But if we count it this way, then we would have, with middle element e2, we'd have 1 plus n. With middle element e3, we have 2 times n minus 1. With middle element e4, we have 3 times n minus 2, blah, 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 blah. With middle element en, we have n minus 1 times 2. With middle element en plus 1, we have n times 1. This is the exact same formula, series summation, that we were looking to sum right at the beginning of this video. So looking at it from a summing the number of subsets 
we can tell that this summation equals m plus 2 c3 just by the two different methods that we have used for counting the number of subsets that there are, three element subsets that there are of n plus 2 elements. Okay, well, I hope you found this interesting. Um, I certainly did. If you have, then um, please like this video and subscribe to the Gresham Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.